So, New World has officially launched in EU, and the launch patch notes are just out. There aren't that many changes, I'm not going to read all of them individually, but we'll go over them shortly. Just wanted to share the important ones as soon as possible with you, and we'll see how they turn out. So, as you can see, there were some NPC respawn rate fixes, a couple quest bug fixes, various voiceover and text fixes, and tweaks, AI fixes, leashing or spawning in valid areas, couple of combat fixes actually, speed hack prevention added, very important, wars no longer get stuck in the setup phase, players will no longer be able to receive PP rewards from duels by drowning after the duel is complete, so exploits are also being fixed, again PP flag active in sanctuaries if player dodge rolled across the border, that's fixed, and there's a particular fix about the ice gauntlet, this was I believe also data mined as soon as the client was available. Now the important thing here is PP damage scale adjusted to lessen the gap between high and low level players. The close beta had a pretty large PP scaling that allowed low level players to stand a chance. Open beta saw that massively decrease. I'm guessing this is going to be something in between the close beta and open beta levels, but we've yet to see. This is one of the most important changes. There are a couple dupe fixes, very important couple glitch fixes. Now you can recall to your watchtower if you somehow forget and run to the town directly without doing the quests. You can recall back to your watchtower before you bind to an inn. So you'll be able to return to your initial watchtower, which is great. Some streaming mode and social stuff. Reduce the number of days a governor has to be absent before console automatically replaces from 30 down to 15 days. Now you won't be able to use the voice chat within the first three hours of character creation. I, I suppose people kind of abuse this. Two big PvP exploit fixes, one of which was doing PvP missions without being flagged, huge, and the other one basically caused a glitch in the war invasion system whereby you could repeatedly declare war and get duplicate coins from the refunds from war declaration costs. All right, that's pretty much it. Hope you all enjoyed the game and make sure you subscribe to the channel for new world videos coming up soon. And also go follow me over Twitch to stay tuned for my new world streams. That's pretty much it. Take care.